Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I hope that you guys are doing well. I want to share something that happened um, in a dream that the Lord gave me. I won't be discussing the details of the dream, but in the dream, the Lord made reference to Pharaoh, to the dreams that Pharaoh had, that Joseph had to interpret. I personally have been seeing a lot of double numbers. I have been seeing 11, 11, 16, 16, 22, 22, 13, 13, and other, you know, double numbers. Um, it just seems like every time I look at the clock, it is a double number. Every time I go somewhere, I see a double number. And I thought I was starting to make all of this up, right? And because I have been speaking to people, I have connected to people that God speaks to them a lot through dreams. I thought that I was now forcing myself. Let me not say forcing myself, but I was projecting these things. I thought that when I was looking at the clock, I was forcing myself to see those numbers. It was... The enemy, the enemy is just so silly, guys. The enemy is just so silly. Please just like try and explain to me now. How was I planning to look at the clock when it was 11, 11 or when it was 13, 13? Was I keeping tab on the time? Clearly I wasn't. But that was something that the enemy was using against me right that that was some that was a weapon that the enemy was actually trying to use so that i could miss what god was saying to me so before i realized this i asked god to confirm if that was really from him that if it was he was going to confirm it in such a way that i would know and if it wasn't that he was going to take that away. If there was anything in me making these things up, then he was going to take that away. That was a silent prayer that I made, a prayer that was just literally between me and God. I didn't speak it out loud. And little did I know, I really didn't expect God to confirm and God to tell me, that I wasn't making things up, that it was truly God speaking. So in this particular dream, God kept showing me a specific thing twice. In the dream, he would show me the thing twice. I would wake up, go back to bed, show it to me twice again. And Afterwards, he started giving me interpretation and the interpretation of the thing, he gave it to me twice. And as the Lord was giving me the interpretation, he kept referencing Joseph, how Joseph had interpreted the dream for Pharaoh. So I woke up and I went straight into the word and I went into the story where Joseph actually interpreted the dream for Pharaoh. We see that in Genesis 41 from verse 25 to 31, it speaks of Pharaoh's dreams, the dreams that he had, the number that, that, that showed up in the dream, the number that showed up in the dream and all that good stuff. We know the story, but in Genesis 41, 32, That is where God confirmed and God spoke. God made me understand why I kept seeing things twice in my dream and why of the double numbers that I had been seeing. Two of everything, double of everything. And Genesis 41 verse 32, it says that the dream repeats was repeated twice to Pharaoh indicates that this matter is fully determined and established by God and God will bring it to pass very quickly. If you are in the same spot as me, right? If you are seeing double 
of everything. If you are seeing double numbers, if God is showing you things in pairs, if God is speaking to you and showing you things doubled, God is saying to you that you are seeing these things because the matter has been firmly decided by God and God has determined and now it is fully established by him and that God is going to bring it to pass very quickly. That the promises that God has spoken to you about, the blessings that God has spoken to you about, the things that you are waiting on God for, God is saying that it has been firmly decided. God has determined these things and it is fully established by him and these things are are going to happen very quickly. Which numbers have you been seeing double of? What have you been seeing twice? What are you receiving double of? What has showed up in a dream or in a vision and has come to you twice has been presented double? What are the pairs that God is bringing to you. I want you to know that this is not a coincidence. It is God getting a message to you. It is God saying to you that the promise has been established, that the blessings have been determined, and all of it will happen quickly. That all of it will happen quickly. It is not far. It will not delay. It will not tarry. It will happen quickly. To some, God has been speaking about double portion. And God is saying, not only is he bringing that double, not only is he allowing you to have the double portion, but he is confirming that you will receive a double portion, that you will receive double of it. And I believe God is confirming this to you because the double, the double portion that he has been showing you, it has made you think like, Wow, how is this going to happen? How am I going to receive? If God has been speaking to you about twins, you might be looking at your age. You might be looking at a condition. You might be looking at your health and you are saying, how is this going to happen? The Lord is saying, don't worry about how it's going to happen. I just need you to know that it is going to to happen. I am confirming that it is going to happen. I am confirming that you will conceive twins. I am confirming that it will happen. Whatever the double is, I've got my doubles. You have your doubles. Whatever the double is, God is saying that it will come to pass. Some of you guys, God has promised you double cause, two cause. And you may be saying, God, already one, I'm like, uh, when? And now you're speaking to me about two? That's the reason that he has been showing you all these double things, all these twin things, all these pair things. Because he wants you to know it has been established, it has been determined, and it will come to pass quickly. It will come to pass quickly. Double blessings, double promises. It is going to come to pass. It has already been established. Don't worry about the house. Just know that God is going to do it. And you keep receiving, you keep perceiving, you keep seeing these things because God wants you to grasp it. He wants you to really understand it. He wants you to really believe it. So do not doubt. Do not doubt. Be attentive to what you are doing when you see these things. God is trying to get your attention. When you see double numbers, or a certain thing twice, take a minute and thank God. 
Take a minute to speak whatever it is that you are saying into the atmosphere. We know that when God created the world that we are living in right now, he created this world with the words that came out of his mouth. He spoke it and it came to pass. And he has given you that same creative power. The Lord says that he has given us all the capacity to prophesy, to speak things into existence. That's why he has given us faith. That's why we have faith so that when we speak, those things come to pass. That's why the Lord has said, that's why the Lord has given you the authority, dominion over the things of this earth. Not only the things that you can see, but also the things that you cannot see with your natural eyes. So speak it into existence. If you keep seeing five all the time, five, 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 55, 55, speak grace, speak blessings, speak the favor of God around you, over you. Decree that the grace of God is over you. Decree that the favor of God is over you. It is around you, that the favor of God is opening doors for you. If you keep seeing two, 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 double portion, Doors are opening, double doors are being opening, supernatural favor over your life. Start speaking it. Speak it into the atmosphere. Show the enemy that you believe what God is saying, that you believe what God is showing you, that your circumstances mean nothing, that what your natural eyes can see mean nothing because you do not walk by the flesh. You do not walk by sight. You walk by the spirit of God. You walk by what you already know is yours. You walk by what God has already said is yours. Your spiritual eyes are activated. You pay no attention to what your natural eyes can see because you move by the spirit. You are a spirit being having a natural experience, not a natural being having a spiritual experience. Are you not an ambassador of Christ? Are you not a kingdom influencer? Where do you come from? You come from heaven. You come from the kingdom of God. You are here on assignment. So you do not conform to the things that this world is telling you that you need to conform to. To the things that this world is serving you. You reject what this world is serving you because what this world is serving you is not up to your standard. It's not up to the standard that God has created for you. What God has said is for you. So you live by your heavenly father's standard. So whatever you see that reminds you of the promise, the number that God shows you, you speak it into the atmosphere. You let the enemy know that nothing can stop it. Not even him, not even the circumstance, not even the world, not even a pandemic, not even what is going on around you. Nothing, absolutely nothing can stop it. God wants you to be encouraged. And know that the promise still stands. The promise still stands. And it is established. It is going to happen quickly. So do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. And if you keep seeing 1111, know that the Lord is aligning you. Speak alignment over your life. Decree that you are aligning with God's purpose. You are aligning with God's God's plan, God's will. If God has already let you in, in what the alignment is, in what his purpose is, in what his will is, then you speak it. Start acting accordingly. Start acting accordingly. I even want to say, start dressing accordingly. I once read that the way that we dress is prophetic. So you start dressing to what God has called you for. You start acting 
for what God has called you for. Your behavior needs to be the behavior of what God has called you for. Start aligning. Start aligning. Alignment is not only a spiritual thing. Alignment alignment starts with how you dress, how you speak, how you carry yourself, what you will stop doing and what you will start doing. Alignment. Alignment. Start aligning with what God has said. I want to read something for you guys. And it says, our job is to study and meditate and to renew our mind until we are fully convinced. And then to start decreeing and declaring what we fully expect. When we confess what we are expecting, our confession gives life to our, to our expectation. Hold fast to your confession. Purposely make an effort to actively and steadfastly persist in your declaration of faith without wavering. For he who promises is faithful. So stand fast in your confession. Stand fast in your confession. Stand fast in speaking what it is that God is showing you. Stand fast in declaring what God has shown you. To hold fast to something is to purposely make an effort to actively and steadfastly persist without wavering. As believers, we need to meditate upon the new covenant word of God until we determine beyond all doubts what we believe and what we expect. Then, once we are convinced, once we, are, once we fully accept to function, to believe and to walk in the blessings of the new covenant, then we need to declare and confess what we believe. So stand fast to your confession. Be in the word of God. Let the word of God renew your mind. Let the word of God make you strong. Let the word of God allow you to speak boldly. Because right now the Lord wants you to speak. The Lord wants you to confess. The Lord wants you to speak it into your atmosphere. Like Dr. Alexa says, words create worlds. So start creating. Start creating. Remember, you have been, you have been given dominion and authority. There is power in your words. There is power in your word. You do not need me. You do not need a prophet to prophesy into you. You can prophesy to yourself. You can prophesy to the situation. And when you mention the name of Jesus, everything that has breath, everything that has a name needs to bow to the name that is greater, to the name that is above every name. And that is the name of Jesus. So speak it. God is saying it is established. It has been determined and it will happen quickly. It will happen quickly. So rejoice. Be happy. Get excited. Yes, I'm saying it again. Get excited. Do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. Um beijo, pessoal. And I'll see you guys in the next video.